we can discuss in detail about Susurda Acharya's bandaging techniques, which he discussed in the 18th chapter of Sutrasthana. We can discuss about Bantana Vidhi of Susurda Acharya. Uses of bandaging glue to stop bleeding by pressure. Actually, to come compress to stop the bleeding, to arrest the bleeding. We have rectus thambana bias, but the ideal technique to stop the bleeding immediately, the technique used is compression bandage. Compression bandage is very effective. And coming to injury, to give rest and support to the affected part, to retain dressings and splint in position, to prevent edema or swelling, to curb deformity. This, these are the uses of bandage regarding injury management. Coming to the basic principles of injury management, it includes price. P for prevention, R for rest, I for ice, C for compression, and E for elevation. Price includes P for prevention, prevention of injury, R for rest, then I for ice, Shida Prayoga, for that, we are using Murivanna. In the initial period of injury, there will be hematoma formation due to the fracture or due to ligament sprain or muscle strain. Bone is highly vascular, so the hematoma will be more, so that there is a chance of Shoydur Bahulyam, Shoydur Bahulyam in Bakna Samanya Lakshana. And due to this hematoma formation, there will be Pitta Rektakoba. To subside this Pitta Goba, Shida Prayoga is advised. Delana Dika explains about Shida Prayoga, Pagadi Padihar Artham, Sandhan Artham. Shida Prayoga is for Pagadi Padihar Artham and Sandhan Artham. Instead of ice, we are using Murivanna. And this soft tissue edema or soft tissue injury due to this hematoma formation will subside by the usage of Murivanna. That is the principle of usage of Shida Prayoga. And the fourth thing is compression, that is bandage. And fifth thing is elevation. Elevation in upper limb, we are using a sling or ulsangi banda. In lower limb also, we ask the patient to elevate the affected part to reduce the swelling. I want to ensure one thing. The first principle, the first thing to be done in injury is immobilization, not labana. The first thing to be done in Injury management is immobilization, not labana. Even if there is swelling due to this particular injury, the function of immobilization, the use of immobilization is to reduce the edema and swelling. For that, don't go for any labana or nagaradi labana in the initial setting. Immobilization is best. Why? Because to prevent the movement of that affected part, immobilization is very much important. So that the first principle to be incorporated in injury, in the initial phase of injury is immobilization. Don't forget, as we are practicing shalya management, as we are managing orthopedics, this is very important. I saw some shalya people are giving nagaradi labana in the initial phase and then they are going for immobilization, but that is a wrong technique. As per my gurus, the first thing to be incorporated in the initial phase of injury, the first thing to be done is Immobilization, not a labana. This is very important. To prevent the edema and swelling, we are using this compression, bandage, and then elevation. In upper limb injury, from the sternoclavicular joint to the distal extremities, it is a sling should be applied from the very beginning itself. Before examining the patient, you advise or give a sling to that particular patient. If you are sending the patient for x-ray, the patient should be, the hand, affected hand should be in sling and then send the patient to x-ray. This is very much important so that the patient felt good comfort in this sling. So that to prevent edema and swelling, we are giving immobilization and then we are giving elevation. So that our principle is that first we should immobilize the patient and immobilization is the first technique. Then second thing, elevation is must in both upper limb and lower limb injury to prevent swelling, to reduce swelling. 